In this video we will talk about how to convert your mesh to polyhedral which can help improve the quality and at the same time reduce the overall cell count. Since the ANSYS solver is phase based it supports polyhedral cells. The advantages that polyhedral meshes have shown over some of the tetrahedral or hybrid meshes is much lower overall cell count, almost 3 to 5 times lower for unstructured meshes than the original cell count. This can have a huge advantage in terms of efficiency of the solution. Currently there are three options in ANSYS Fluent that allows you to convert your non-polyhedral cells to polyhedral. One is converting the entire domain into polyhedral. Second is converting only the skewed tetrahedral cells to polyhedral. And third is converting cells with hanging nodes or edges to polyhedral cells. These options are available from the text user interface under mesh. And here you can type polyhedra, then press enter, and you can see these three options available. You also have this option of converting the entire domain by the GUI option under setting up domain called make polyhedra. Now let's see what the impact of converting the skewed cells to polyhedra can be. So let's type convert skewed cells, and here we can enter the cell zone IDs. We can get the cell zone IDs from the cell zone conditions panel. Click on fluid rod and that is 6 and fluid stat is 7. So we can enter here 6 and 7 then press enter. Now here it shows that the current maximum skewness is 0.84 and the target is set to 0.9. So this mesh is actually of decent quality so we don't really need to convert just the skewed cells into polyhedra. So we can keep this setting to 0.9 therefore none of the mesh is converted and instead we use the option to convert the entire domain to polyhedra. So let's try the GUI option this time. Click on make polyhedra. Say yes. Now that the polyhedra conversion is confirmed let's go to our mesh display and re-display the mesh. And you can see how the tetrahedral mesh is converted to polyhedra. You can also notice that the surrounding hexahedral cells have not been touched and they remain as they were before.